uh, in this session i am going to cover a very interesting tool uh, open source tool uh, which is called the weblogic remote console okay this is used for the remote management of your administration task okay so we all know we have a weblogic admin console also there in the weblogic okay but apart from that if you would like to uh, uh, control the uh, uh, your uh, weblogic okay remotely okay then we have an open source tool for that as well and there are certain benefit of that and let me explain you that what exactly it is and what is weblogic remote console tool so weblogic remote console is a lightweight open source console built on helidian for a managing a weblogic server domain okay so it is a lightweight it is an open source console tool okay so you can say it is a alternate of the weblogic admin console okay and it is completely based on the helidon so what exactly is a helidon it is a cloud native open source set of java libraries for writing microservices that run on fast web core powered by java virtual sets okay so now if you talk about the main advantage what is the advantage of the remote console tool is the main advantage of weblogic remote console is that it does not need to be co-located with the weblogic server domain that means we the default admin console is exists on the same host where we install the weblogic server right and it get deployed on the admin server but when we talk about the weblogic remote console tool it doesn't have any dependency on to be deployed on the same host where your, your weblogic server are running that means you can install it on any of the remote machine it could be your local weblogic uh, it could be your local uh, window machine it could be some of your remote linux or unix based operating systems okay but it doesn't have any dependency on the machine where your weblogic server is running just like we have a dependency on the admin console so this means it can reside on your local machine and connect to any remote weblogic server domain installed on a physical or virtual machine a container kubernetes or in a cloud it could be oci oracle cloud aws cloud google cloud azure cloud that means if you have installed weblogic server particularly on a machine okay then with the help of remote console you can connect it remotely okay from any of the machine is this machine could be a local machine it could be any of your containerized machine or a virtual machine or any of the machine which is running on the any of the cloud so you can connect uh, or uh, to your uh, your uh, weblogic domain remotely with the help of this tool to control the domain a single remote console can connect to multiple weblogic server domain with multi window support that means whenever we uh, create a domain we know that with uh, uh, with with each and every domain we have a one admin server right and if suppose that you have multiple environments okay and you are going to do certain kind of operations on the multiple environments at the same time then you have to access the weblogic admin console of each and every environment okay for example if you are doing something on development testing uat quality okay so you have to open a sing uh, a, a weblogic console for each and every environment if you have a four environment that means you will have a four admin consoles to access and you have to navigate between them but with the help of this remote console tool you can register or you can connect to each and every domain from a single remote console tool and this is a from a single console you can manage the multiple weblogic server domains okay it utilizes weblogic rest apis to connect to weblogic server domain so when we connect this remote console tool with the multiple domains so connecting to the multiple domains it is completely with the basis on the rest api and weblogic remote console is supported on weblogic 12213 12214 and 411 so that means it is applicable uh, from 12213 onwards of the version of the weblogic and the current release as on uh, june 24 the current version of remote console tool is 249 so the re uh, system requirement for installation of the remote console tool uh, it, it can be installed on the mac os it can be on window or any of the linux or unix based operating systems which is shown on the screen okay now uh, how to install weblogic remote console so as i said it is an open source tool okay so you can download it from the official repository of the oracle from the github the uh, the link i have given on the screen you can go to that particular link and then as i said it is available for your mac os windows linux or unix based operating systems so corresponding to your operating system you can download the installer okay and you can extract the installer so if it is a windows then it is a exe you have to run the exe file for the installation if it is a linux or mac os then for mac you will get a dot dmz file which you can uh, run for the installation and for windows and for linux you will have a rpm packages there and along with that you will have a zip format as well available which you can extract and run now uh, if you uh, uh, don't want to download the installer then you have uh, some alternate options as well 
Okay, and this alternate options enable some more features as well of the remote console, which is not available with the installers. Okay, so to to uh, configure the remote console <coughs> without the installer, what you need to do, you have to create a directory called management hyphen services hyphen ext. This you have to create inside the domain, and then go to the same link from where we we uh, have downloaded uh, the. <coughs> remote console tool in the previous slide we have seen the link and from there you can download the var file of the remote console okay and place it inside the management hyphen service hyphen ext folder which we have created and then you have to restart your admin server okay so you don't need to deploy this file manually once you will restart the admin server it will automatically deploy the <coughs> this console var file on your admin server and then you can access the remote console tool okay the difference but the difference what is coming here is we are going to install it on the same weblogic domain where your admin server is also running okay now how to connect uh, if, if you would like to connect to a, a particular domain uh, with this remote console tool so for that you have to first install the remote console tool and then open the tool then you will get a providers options so in certain providers you will uh, register multiple domains at a time as i said you can uh, uh, you can uh, control the multiple uh, domains from this particular tool so for every domain you will going to register in this tool it will be listed inside the providers okay so you have to go to providers and then add admin server connection provider this option you have to select so once you will select this option then you have to provide certain details of your admin console okay for example you have to give the name of your provider that you can give according to your requirements for example if you are going to connect to a development uh, domain you can give the name as development domain okay and then you can give your username and password which has the admin access of the domain and then you have to give the url of your admin server okay http or https protocol whatever is being configured in your domain then the host name or ip address of your admin server and the port of your admin server okay so after providing these details you can able to connect to your domain using this remote tool okay so this is the option that you will see add admin server connection provider once you will uh, start <coughs> the weblogic remote console tool and then you have to provide the details so connection provider i have given the name as dev domain then username and password and the url of your admin server and click on make insecure connection if you are going to have a connection with without https okay and then you will see that you are, you can able to see your uh, domain which you have registered inside the providers click on your domain name and then you will see this option this is the option where you can see the edit tree configuration view tree monitoring tree so to monitor the different uh, uh, configurations of your domain you can click on the configuration view tree if you would like to edit any of the configuration you have to click on the edit tree similarly if you would like to view or you can monitor the different uh, resources of your weblogic domain then you have to click on the monitoring tree okay and this is how you can navigate on the left hand side you can see the server option is there under which you can see there are different servers are visible which is there inside the domain similarly you can click on the cluster server template machine virtual host so all of the option that you see when we log into our admin console the so same all options along with few more options you can able to see in the remote console tool so here you can see that you can uh, uh, select the servers and then you can do the operations like start stop resume suspend shut down so these kind of operations you can do from here as well okay and apart from that lot of options that you do from the admin console you can do from with the help of remote console tool as well okay and as i said the the benefit of that it doesn't need to be co-located in the same domain or in the same machine where your web browser server is running and apart from that you can register the multiple domains that means you can control the multiple domains from the single remote console tool at a time okay so let me uh, show you quickly so let me first uh, download this uh, tool so let me take this location this is the location and let me go to this location okay and here you can see that there, these are the different uh, installers that is available click on show all okay so now i'm going to install it on windows so i will click on pin uh, weblogic remote console 249 windowed exe so let me click on this one okay so again based on the bandwidth of your uh, internet it's going to take some time for to download because the size is around 200 mb okay so i am getting a speed of around 4 5 mbps so it will be download in next few seconds 81% 84 88 91 okay so once this is downloaded so this is an exe installer for the windows so we just need to double click on the installer and after double clicking it will initiate the simple uh, 
installation wizard as we install the different softwares on the windows machine and you have to select the location where you would like to install it and then finish so now it is uh, downloaded so let me open it one so let me double click so now here you can see that i am going to install it for any user anyone who is going to access this computer click on next okay this is the location it is prompting for the installation of the tool click on the install right so now you can see that it is uh, installed completely click on finish and then you have to click on uh, you have to go to the programs and click on the weblogic remote console okay so you can see that it is initializing this is the first time it is getting initialized okay and after that you have to give the location or you can have to register the provider here okay so now you can see that i have one provider in the domain as of now which is the dev domain right and if you would like to create a new project then you can select the project from here if you would like to delete then you can delete from here okay so let me select the new project and let me give it as a name as non prod and let me click on okay okay so i have created a, a new project with the name of non prod okay and inside the provider you can click on this arrow and then click on add admin server connection provider click on this one and here you have to give the uh, name so let me give it as a here the quality domain let me give the username and then password okay so this is running on my local machine only on 700 port so i have given the same port and then because it is a http connection so let me select make insecure connection and click on ok okay so now you can see that it is we are connected to our quality domain okay so this domain is running on my local machine on 7001 port and here you can see the different options three options are here edit tree and then configuration view tree and the monitoring tree these are the same tree that you are seeing on the main screen right so if i click on the configuration view tree okay so here you can see the different configurations for example you can click on the environment and click on the servers so here you can see the different servers if you click on each and every server then you can able to see the different properties that are associated with each and every server you have a different tabs here just like we just like we get on the admin server right similarly you have a cluster option you can go to cluster you can able to see your cluster and then scroll down and then similarly you can see the different options whatever that we see on the admin console as well okay and then here you will, if you go to this option which is called the monitoring tree you can click on the servers and then you can see the status of your different managed servers here and then you can customize your table as well if you'd like to remove or delete or add any different columns here then you can do if you would like to create a new dashboard then you have an option here you can create a, create a new dashboard and then you can select the different of the uh, parameters that you would like to enable on the dashboard for example this is a queue parameter like if you would like to configure if any time your uh, uh, the queued length of is greater than something like like 8000 okay then you can configure like this one and then you can enable the different kind of a parameters here in the custom dashboard that you can create from here okay similarly you have a different option if you click on the deployment and then you can have option application runtime data okay so these are here you can have different applications that are deployed in an environment okay similarly if you go to the edit tree from here you can do the different kind of edit options with respect to your environments okay for example you can if you'd like to delete any of the server you can click on the uh, manage server you can click on delete if you would like to create any new manage server you can click on the new and then you can configure the new manage server here right so this is how we work on the remote console tool and then how we work on it remotely and how we can register the multiple domains here from the single remote console tool